Emert International proudly presents the 2006 Rigging Job of the Year entry for the Specialized Carriers and Rigging Association. Emert International was contracted to transport and rig into position two replacement vessels down a very narrow alleyway and into the plant with clearances as little as millimeters. The only way the vessels could be brought to the entrance of the plant they were being installed in was by backing down a narrow alleyway. Because of limited space, two cranes were used to unload the vessels from the trucks and position the vessels down the alleyway. Crane clearance was very limited, both horizontally and vertically, with wires, conduit, and pipes in the way. Once positioned, the cranes lifted the first vessel off the truck and into position, then rotated 90 degrees to vertical, rotated again into position at the entrance to the alleyway. Aligned with the alleyway, the transportation equipment was installed underneath the vessel. Emert International's custom-designed dual-line, 12-wheel, non-hydraulic, fixed-height, kick-steered mini-rigging dolly. The mini-rigging dollies were installed at each corner of the vessel to provide a means to transport vessels up the alleyway. With front mini-rigging dollies installed, the vessel was pulled over railroad tracks and the rear mini-dollies were installed. With the mini-rigging dollies installed, the vessel was ready to be moved. Rigging equipment was moved into position at the end of the alley adjacent to the entrance door. A forklift hydraulic system was used to slowly maneuver the vessel up the alleyway. Clearances were very tight throughout the move. At times, there were only millimeters to spare on both sides as well as above the vessels. The vessel was slowly pulled up the alleyway to the entrance door into the building. At the door, the vessel was rotated again into position to go through the door. Rigging equipment was used to pick the vessel, rotate it, and then insert it into the building. The insertion had to be done very slowly as the door clearances were almost as limited as the alleyway. Inside the building, the vessel was positioned to be lifted into place. After the first vessel was inserted into the building and positioned for installation, the second vessel was positioned adjacent to the alleyway so it could be picked up and rotated. Emmert then picked up the vessel and rotated it 90 degrees to vertical, rotated it 90 degrees again to align it to fit within the restrictions of the alleyway. The mini rigging dollies were installed and the crane sent back down the alleyway and crews were ready to proceed moving the second vessel. Again, clearances were very tight as before throughout the alleyway. The pull went very slowly to allow for adjustments to clear the various obstacles along the way. Every step of the way, crews checked and rechecked clearances to ensure safe transport. The second vessel cleared the alleyway. Then the vessel was positioned at the door to enter the building. The rigging equipment was used to insert the vessel into the building. The vessel was maneuvered into position adjacent to the first piece and prepared for installation. Overall dimensions, length 40 feet, width 10 feet, height 15 feet. Total gross weight, as moved 72,000 pounds. Planning for the job, one month planning and permitting process, 48 hours of engineering, 26 hours of planning and coordination. Physical elements encountered. Tight clearances as little as millimeters on both sides and above. Rigging clearances were very limited, both horizontally and vertically. Wires, conduit, and pipes. The pull had to be done very slowly to allow for adjustments. Railroad tracks. Alignment of each piece was crucial multiple rotations of the vessels, safety considerations, extremely tight alleyways and pinch points, overhead wires, conduit and pipes, on-site safety training and meetings, execution, 168 man-hours on the job, ingenuity and innovations, custom design, two-line, 12-wheel, non-hydraulic, fixed-height, kick-steered mini rigging dolly, use of a forklift hydraulic system to make minor adjustments. Loss prevention, 
No accidents, no injuries, no property damage, no loss of time, no structural damage, no cargo damage. Schedule, on schedule and within budget. Contract, lump sum firm fixed price. All operations were done under the care, custody and control of Emmert International.